So what we're going to be talking about today is X references inside of AutoCAD. Uh, X references is a little bit confusing, especially with all the different uh, settings and features and and everything. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding of how to handle X references and what they're used for. So an X reference, in its basic term, is you're referencing another drawing inside of your drawing. Now we'll be dealing with a CADWorks model, so you're deal, uh, basically you're taking a, another model, let's say a civil model or a structural model or an equipment model and import, uh, importing it into your drawing. Now it's a live, um, unlike the insert command, uh, the X reference, it's a live update. So if someone else is using um, that model, makes a change to it, you'll typically get a uh, alert saying that this item has been updated. Do you want to refresh it? Do you want to reload it? You hit yes and any changes that they have made has now come into your model so that way you can make appropriate changes if you need to. So let's take a look at this real quick. So basically um, what we're going to do is we've got some pipe here. This is our pipe and we're going to bring in our structural steel and we're going to bring in some equipment. Um, so to do that you can type in xref and it pops up this dialog, uh, this palette right here. Now if you don't like doing typing you can always come up to tools, go to palettes, and then do the external references palette. It does the same thing. Now I have I already have mine up, it's docked over here so I'll be coming over here and uh, grabbing it. Now inside the uh, palette, the first thing that's in here is your actual drawing. Okay, so this is area one piping um, and this is your drawing that you're in here. And of course if you see an asterisk up at the top that means you haven't saved it. So Again, what we're going to do is we're going to insert some uh, steel and we're going to insert some um, equipment. So first things first, you've got to make sure that your UCS is actually in world, which means Z is going up to the top. If it's not, then all you have to do is type in UCS world or UCS, and then you get some options down here, and just you can type in world. I mean W if you want to and it'll rotate the UCS back to its normal uh, everyday position. So up here what you can do is you can click right here and say insert drawing uh, and it will come up. Uh, you can also just right click and say attach a drawing. Attach an image, uh, DWG, uh, DGN, PDF, other things from here. But we're going to only deal with the drawing. So we get a drawing and we're going to go, we're going to insert our um, equipment master first. Okay, you can do multiple at one time, but for this demonstration, I'm going to do it one at a time. So we're going to hit, uh, we want our equipment master. So we're going to hit open. Okay, then it brings up this dialog box. This is where a lot of people kind of start getting confused. Okay. Um, so you can set your scale, you can set your insertion point or your rotation, um, you know, within these dialogs, or you can do it on the screen if you want to. Now, typically in CADWorks and in many other modeling programs, it doesn't have to be CADWorks. Um, you want to draw all your uh, equipment, all your steel, all you know, everything that you model. You want to do it on the correct coordinates. And you want to insert it at zero 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 so everything lines up at the same uh, you know at you know where it's supposed to go that way you don't have to move it in order for it to uh, change so if it does get moved six feet one way it automatically when that person saves it and you refresh it it automatically moves it six feet you don't have to do it so what we want to do is we want to keep these uh, unchecked 
on the uh, scale, the insertion point, and the rotation. We want to leave them zero. We want the scale to be one one one. Uh, we want the insertion point to be zero zero zero. Okay. The path type um, is you got three different options. You got no path. You got relative path, and you got full path. Okay. The full path um, sets up the path exactly how you have it. So if you have it on C, models, uh, civil, you know, whatever your, your call out is, that's exactly what it's going to be. So if that model ever moves, it's going to go back and look for uh, that exact location. Um, then you got relative path. And so what that does is if you've got a model and you've got another model that you're referencing that's below it, let's say you've got one category um, in there that is, bring this over real quick. So we got our, say we got our piping model. Okay, this is our master. And then we want to reference in something that's in this level here or a level below it, then it's going to rel you know, say, okay, this is our main, and then anything below it, it's going to relatively be associated. So if you deliver these files to the client, and you deliver them inside this folder structure, then when they open it up, they should not have any problems with uh, disconnected reference, uh, X references. And the no path doesn't save a path. And the, the problem with that being is when you save it, get out of it, get back into it, it might lose its connection to that X reference. But if all you're doing is referencing it just to see what it is, it, you know, and you only need it one time, it's not that big of a deal. But typically relative is the best. Um, to go with. Now this isn't going to work because I'm going up a level but I just want to show you what it'll do. The The next sticking point is your reference type. You've got two different options. You got overlay and you got attachment. Overlay basically puts that X reference drawing into your drawing but it doesn't become part of the drawing. So it's only kind of there, but it's not there. And so when you save the drawing, and if you reference that drawing into another drawing, anything that's overlaid will not come in. Now, if you want that stuff to come in at the same time, you want to use attachment. Now, the problem with attachment is anything that you do have attached in that model does come along for the ride and if you accidentally attach something and then reference it into another drawing or into the same drawing that you're referencing you could create a circular reference now AutoCAD has got a lot better over the years to handle these um, circular references and not crash the system because in the old days it wasn't very good and I have seen models and systems basically go down because there was hundreds of circular references and it just really killed the system. So you really only want to attach when you want that stuff to come along for the ride onto another model. So this purpose here we're only going to do overlaying uh, because we just want to see where our equipment is and where our steel is. So overlay, we're going to hit OK. And then you can see that our uh, our equipment showed up. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with um, our structural. So again, we're going to go back to our X reference. OK, let me, let me stop here and let me show you this real quick. We've referenced in this equipment master and you can see that it has a different icon than these the reason is the equipment master is overlaid 
where these are attached. Well, these are attached to the Equipment Master, not actually to the drawing. So you can turn any of these. Let's say we want to turn off uh, this tower right here. We don't want to see it right now. So you can go to T101, right click on it, and say Unload. Unloads, then it's not there. So you can pick and choose what you want to see and what you don't want to see even if it's been inserted from a different model. Now, if you unload the Equipment Master, it's going to unload all of them, all of the equipment. So, this is what I was talking about as far as if it's attached, it's going to come along for the ride. If it's overlaid, it's not. So we're going to put in our structural steel and for some reason our tower still not coming let's go there we go there it is it's back so now we're gonna put in our structural steel same thing we're gonna come over here we're gonna right click go to drawing and we wanna do our uh, structural okay so structural hit open we're going to do an overlay, relative path. See, now it's saying we can't do a relative path because it's not on a level below. It's actually in a level above, so it will not allow you to do that. So you got to, if, but if you're just doing an overlay, it really doesn't matter. Just do a full path. It's only going to let you do a full path. So we're going to hit OK. And bam, there's all our structural steel. Now, let's take a look. If you wanted to get into, let's say, one of these models here, and let's go right here. Let's, uh, nope, let's right there. Okay, so I want, I want to, I want to modify this this tower here. Okay, so we're gonna go to T101, right click on it, and we're gonna open it directly from the X reference. Uh, the external references dialog box. So we're going to go open. Okay, so here it is. And we're going to move this sucker. Locker ortho here. And our ortho is not locking right now. So let's go. There we go and we're going to move this thing let's say 20 feet okay okay so now we moved it 20 feet we're gonna save it you know control s or come up here and hit save now we're coming we're gonna go back to our area one piping okay and Actually, let's go to our Equipment Master. Go Open. Okay. And now you'll see that, hey, um, okay, so we're going to go hit Save. File. Save. We're going to go to our Piping. And now you'll get this sometimes you'll get this dialog box here where it says external references have been changed it'll tell you who changed it it'll tell you what model has been changed well since we have this tower inside our uh, equipment master it's just saying the equipment master needs to be reloaded and if you go back to your external references box and go to equipment master uh, you'll see that this little thing right here comes up. Well, that tells you that, hey, this needs to be reloaded. Also, if you look at the status, it says needs reloading. So we're going to reload it. We're going to hit, you know, right click on it and hit reload. Or you can come down here and click your reload. And you can see that it's, you know, thinking about doing it. So once the model gets refreshed, the uh, you can see the tower has moved 20 feet over 
So this comes into effect that you can have um, multiple designers working on multiple models at one time and you're not locked down to one designer handling everything. Now there's different ways that you can structure this um, and I'm going to put down in the show notes um, where my philosophy on how things should be structured and how it should be organized um, you know that I've used in the last several years as a CAD administrator so uh, again I hope this is a brief overview I know this one's a little longer than normal but there's a lot of data to cover inside this topic so um, if you've got any questions or concerns or if there's anything you would like to see me talk about or uh, go over please uh, leave me uh, an email or uh, shoot me a comment uh, shoot me an email or leave me a comment and uh, we'll go over it so until next time uh, have a good day